Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gear Shed. Another review for you today. Today we're looking at the Nebo Little Larry. This is a little pocket sized cob inspection light. Runs on AAA batteries. Now these guys here, I have two of them as you can see. I have one that I just throw in my pocket and beat around. And uh, the other one I have as a kind of like a spear that I keep in my sort of EDC bag for when I'm going to uh, sort of job sometimes it's nice to have a spear that you can give out. Uh, so these are what's called, as I said, like cob lights. So it starts, stands for um, chip on board, which is the LED chip is actually directly attached to the circuit board underneath. Uh, what that gives us is a bright, uh, clear floodlight. This comes in three settings, high, medium or high and low and red flashing now as you would have seen there turning it on you can see these lines that are running through the camera image this is what's called pulse width metering uh, and what that means is basically that the led is switching on rapidly on and off uh, to give you the appearance of whatever brightness setting it's at so if we turn it down to the next level you can see this got lots of little lines in it and what happens is the camera picks up on that uh, that's basically just a way of uh, a cheap way of dimming a torch. Uh, now, what's really good about this, unlike the the big brother of this, the big Larry, this is not visible. So a lot of times with pulse width metering, you can actually see that when you're using it, you can see that flashing. It has a different sort of an interesting light where, uh, especially if you have any moving objects in front of it, it will kind of strobe and make those things go in slow mo. So that's quite nice that this doesn't have that. Now, what I have discovered between these two, which we won't be able to see on the video because of the way that the, the camera works, is that these are two different tints. Now, it's kind of the shade of the LED. Uh, generally, these things are sort of a white, um, almost whitey blue color. Uh, but what I found is one is what was called a cool white, so it's like, a, as I said, the white bluey color, and the other one's a warm light. Um, it's almost, you can almost see it. So it's more like sunshine or the old style incandescent light bulb. So something you would have seen when you already had the old style light bulb in your house had that sort of creamy, uh, yellowy kind of color. That's what that one is. Now that's not something you can order, that's just how it's happened. So I think. It depends on what, which batch they're using and also maybe just the quality of the, of the cob chip that they're using. So that's quite an, <laughs> quite an interesting thing. Now, what's also with these, these are what have called, uh, what's called unregulated. So they rely on the voltage in your batteries to give you the brightness of your, of your light. So the three settings this has, uh, on high it's got 250 lumens and that's supposed to run for three hours. Then you have the low, which is about 90, 90 or 95 lumens, uh, and that's supposed to run for 10 hours, and then your flashing is supposed to run for 10 hours. Now, because it's not regulated, those, that, uh, those run times will be of a diminishing uh, brightness. So uh, if you're using, for instance, the high power for three hours, uh, what I've noticed is it does, uh, after sort of an hour or so, it does uh, get a lot dimmer. Um, you do notice the dimmer. Sometimes uh, you won't notice the d dimming of the torch unless you put fresh batteries and go, oh, that's a lot brighter. But this does definitely get sl sl lower and lower in brightness. Uh, it's very, very apparent when you turn a fresh one on next to it, it becomes quite uh, apparent the differences. So it's not regulated, so bear that in mind. You're not getting 250 lumens for three whole hours. You might get 250 lumens for probably about half an hour, and then it's going to start dropping after that. Uh, down a lot dimmer, I would say, down to sort of 50, 60 lumens at the end. Um, and that goes obviously for also the low setting as well. You're going to get that being um, starting off at 90, 95 lumens, and then it's going to plummet as we go along. So you're not going to get, again, not going to get that for 10 hours. Um, generally, I'd think about looking at these run times now, which since I've used it, probably for a, for, for a third of that, and then you're going to start dropping. Now, these run on... Uh, Triple A's, good old fashioned triple A's. Now, what's quite nice about these, they're quite cheap in the UK, about nine pounds for one of these. They also come with these branded Nebo alkaline batteries. They're not the best batteries in the world, but what's great, it means straight out of the bag, straight out of the packet, you're rearing to go and you can really get into it and uh, use your torch. Um, I prefer to run them on rechargeables because obviously if you're using them a lot, 
uh, the price starts to get up there and it's obviously that whole throwing away of disposable batteries is not that flash for the environment. I think in this one, let's have a look, I think I've got, uh, yes, I've got a right mixture in here. I've got some cheap Tronix uh, batteries from Littles. See how we go with those. I generally only use any loops, but those are really, really cheap. Um, and for this kind of thing, I've, it's not massive, mission, mission critical, but the any loops are a, a better, better buy. But I think it was eight, of, eight of the Tronix ones for five, nine, five pound ninety nine. These are like five pound ninety nine for, or well, nearly eight pounds for four. So there is a bit of a cost. Ah, so the other thing is, is with this, I don't think I can quite do it with this one. It's a bit tight. There are some rubber seals in the bottom of here, some O rings in here. Uh, but then again, I wouldn't be want to throwing it in a puddle of water because this cob light is definitely not sealed. It's just a plastic uh, or plastic uh, clip-on cover. So if you do submerge it, I would think the LED is going to get covered in water and soon stop working. Um, what I have discovered is that you can take your batteries out like that. Take this. Part of off these are kind of a modular so you can take that bit off here that one's a little harder to get off but this one comes off again o-ring seal around there and if you put two of these back in and put your top back on threads and everything on these are actually quite good i mean for the price they're actually well made uh, and you get still get light out of it it's not massively bright but uh, it'll be interesting to see what sort of run times it runs on so if you get hard pressed and you can only find two AA, triple A's you can at least throw on a, a uh, two, AA, two triple A's and get it working. What I thought would be quite cool is it's still relatively bright with the red flasher so possibly it might make a reasonably okay bike light as long as you're not pedaling in the rain too much. Uh, still nice and compact and fairly durable too so yeah so let's pop that out put that back in there like that. So what I like about these things is that they are quite floody, so they're very good for close-in work if you want to light an area, work on a piece of machinery, change a tyre, uh, light up a room or something like that if the power's gone out, or even a tent. They work quite very, very well for that. They're also really cheap, fairly durable. I mean, they've got an aluminium body. The only bit that, sort of, that could be dubious is this plastic cover here. Um, and that lends themselves to being, uh, you can able quite easily to give this to somebody if you're in a situation where it's dark and you've got a spare torch you just say look here you go and they can wander off and do it themselves they're um easy to learn there's no massive <laughs> learning curve it's push a button three times you get light um also has a two-year warranty i'm not sure how you go about actually claiming that but we'll see how we go but so far pretty good now obviously downsides run times if you're running them on alkalines is going to be crap and you're going to have to go through a lot of alkaline batteries to get yourself some rechargeables it's a pretty no-brainer there um, i found the pocket clip to be nigh on useless for keeping it in your pocket because what happens is this as you can see there's a gap there this one's not that bad this one here you could fly a plane through um, they don't therefore hold very well um, in your pocket so you put it in your pocket and then what I'm finding is that the, the slightest brush or click on something will just pop your torch out and I, I've actually lost this one about three times at work because it gets caught on things and goes into packets and all sorts of stuff so yeah the, the pocket clip isn't particularly reliable at all really um, having the near dimmer magnet on the end here like the big Larry forgot to mention that and downside with that is I find that therefore you have to have obviously something metallic that's in the right orientation for this to, to work. So um, okay if you're working on an engine or something like that and it's underneath you but sometimes you want an area light one way or the other and it's very difficult to find sometimes something to put on. So I would like a magnet on the back would be quite handy and I was actually thinking of uh, either gluing epoxying some into here or finding some shrink rack and shrink, shrink racking something into that so then you can actually clip it on a surface like that magnet to the surface so it points straight towards what you're doing so yes but other than that cheap reasonably light uh, they're at 90 grams of batteries so they're not massively heavy 
uh, reasonably robust. The switch is reasonably covered. Even now and again, I do actually end up having um, the torch turn on in my pocket, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, so overall quite good, really good buy. I uh, would recommend it as kind of a semi-disposable sort of torch you can throw in your pocket, give to the kids, that kind of thing, uh, is the way forward. Alrighty, so I hope that's been helpful. Um, as always, like and subscribe, comments in the comment section down below, um, and I've got a lot more reviews to come, so keep keep tu stay tuned, and I will see you guys in a future video. Thank you very much, and see you later.